What if F1 cars only had one gear? Well, to find out, we're going to be jumping on F1 2020. And uh, I've modified the game to literally only give us one gear. The game, as always, impresses me by how well it is actually coded. Um, and I've been able to literally get rid of all the other gears. I can only shift up to first gear. Um, I've made the gear length about similar to seventh gear. So the straight line speed should be roughly similar. Of course, I mean, the VMAX end of straight straight line speed should be roughly similar. Of course, that acceleration theoretically should be much, much slower. I've also modified ERS to make sure it does deploy in first gear. Um, cause as we learned in the previous video that ERS doesn't actually deploy in first gear normally. So I've modified that and that's it. Everything else is exactly the same. So first and foremost, we're going to jump straight on in to a qualifying session. Um, just so we can get a little, little one lap practice. And there you go. See, we're already revving out the engine because we're in uh, quality mode, of course. Max and power. We try and break out an all point. <laughs> Automatically shifted down. Went down to neutral briefly. Oh, we're a little bit in the uh, anti stall there on the exit. Looks like Lewis Hamilton's got an amazing exit. I don't know how well the mods work in qualifying for the AI, but in the race it will be totally even, so we're not going to worry too much. This is basically a practice lap. And at the moment it feels normal. I've just got to train myself to not press the gear, the gear buttons. Um, but other than that, it's, it's, it's quite normal, of course. Normally I do grip mods and that sort of thing. So um, this one is is quite similar to how it normally feels. It'll squeak there. My dog is sat next to me, squeaking his toy. He wants to be involved with the video. So far, yeah, this is quite normal. Now, this is an interesting one. This is a very slow corner. Yes, it's, you don't quite get the too much anti-stall. It does, it does anti-stall a little bit. You can hear it idling instead of... So the revs just dropping, you can hear it just kick to an idle midway through that corner, which means the clutch has been dropped. Of course, uh, in this game, you don't need to re-engage the clutch once you slow down, once you're off the start, you don't need to do anything with the clutch. Um, and again, I can't shift up. I'm trying to shift up now. I have a genuinely only got one gear. Um, so again, impressed at how adaptive the code in this game is. We're actually not last. We're 19th at the moment. Somehow we're not last. Right, there we go. We are now going to back off a little bit, though, because I do want to be last. Come on, where is he? Uh, whoever was last there was very, very slow. Okay, well, let's jump into the race. Just before we get into the race, I know you guys have heard it many times before, but please do subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy this video. The momentum has been amazing lately. We've gained like 3,000 subs this month. We need to keep this momentum up, guys. Please do subscribe if you enjoy. Let's get back to it. Okay, here we go. On the grid for the Bahrain Grand Prix. But with just one gear, we're going to try an absolutely full throttle start since we're going to be starting in what is effectively seventh gear. Seems to work quite well. The AI getting quite a sluggish start using all the beans we've got up to rich fuel. Overtake ERS. Whoa! My word. <laughs> we almost ended up in the pit ball there. That was so close. We're going to hang back for now. We'll try and get a nice sweeping line so we get a good enough exit. We're going to in the clutch. Oh, a bit of oversteer there somehow. I don't know how that worked, but... Yes, the exit of dreams. Look at this. We're trying on the outside of Giovinazzi if he gives us a bit of room, which he does indeed. Oh, God, these guys break very early. We're going to try on the outside of here because we don't want to get overtaken by Giovinazzi if we can help it. That was nice. Kept the momentum. I think this is going to be all about keeping momentum with this mod. And it is quite hard because it does... Whoa! Still got oversteer, apparently. Yeah, solid. We're going to do, Russell. There you go. See you later, George. And it is weird because it feels basically the same, but of course... The biggest difference really is knowing how much to slow down because normally you use the gears and then you use how the engine sounds to kind of judge your speed for a corner. It's quite a subconscious thing really. But of course I can't do that with this. It's just all one gear. I mean I'm sure I could do, I'm sure I could relearn how it should sound, but wait a bit early there. All over the curb. Of course, traction is a lot easier than normal. We're effectively just slamming our foot on the throttle on the exit of each corner. Can all stop just about miss our apex. Oh, well, I was on the throttle a bit too early, really. Won't use any overtake. Although, we may well get Magnuson anyway, despite trying to not get him. Bit of slipstream is going to help us hugely. Going to drag us outside here. Is it going to give us some room? Oh, that's, that's actually a bigger punishment than normal doing that because it, you're slowing each other down and it's all about momentum through the corner. Grosjean, though, has got no ERS to use, so we should be able to fly past him. Job done. Let's see who we can get up to next. That'll put us up to P14. He's coming back at us, though. Get it all stopped. Just, just about back on the power as early as I can. Let's try and get get the car accelerating, of course. This, this car does work like most normal cars, as you'd expect. So most of your torque comes, um, or most of your power comes in the sort of middle of the end range. I think these engines peak about 12,000 RPM or so. Of course, the ERS power, though, does help. That's there to top up, top us up a little bit. So 
of course, also, you do need to be going a certain speed for the ERS to kick in. It's all a bit of contact there. That was our fault. Cut back under him, though. Come on, get the exit. Come on, get moving, get moving. We did it. I think we're going to do it. Yes, we've done it. Positions getting there. A bit a little bit naughty, but never mind. I'm interested to see how this affects engine temps. Let's go up to Rich and let's leave it in Rich. See how that's going to affect engine temps. There you go. So at the moment, the engine's not too hot, but of course, we're going from very, very low revs Ooh, up to very, very high revs. But actually, most straights, we don't peak at what we would normally be at for most of the straight. As in, we probably peak at, what, 11,000 RPM? And actually, normally, we'd be operating between 11 and 12,000 RPM the whole time. We are running a little bit low on ERS here. Again, as I said at the top of the video, I have tweaked the ERS to... Uh, work in first gear because it doesn't normally, but other than that, I've not tweaked it at all. Um, and that does seem to be affecting us a little bit. I think I perhaps need to ease off the ERS a little bit because, of course, I guess we're on the straight for a bit more, a bit longer than normally would be. Oh, God. Yeah, that's really heavily defending that. Just like when I see it all stopped. Almost off the track, though. Bit of oversteer. Despite not having much power. Oh, God. He's around the outside still. I didn't even realize. And actually, our engine is starting to overheat, so clearly it's all about. The fuel mix really in this game way more than the engine revs fuel mix and throttle usage so we're gonna have to ease off a little bit to cool our engine up to be 12 only we're struggling to get through the pack here again ai adapting really well it's really quite impressive we'll slow down try and carry the speed on the throttle nice and early to enable the car to start accelerating here we go we get some drs on sebastian vetter will that help us oh a bit deep it's weird a lock up Normally it's accompanied by sort of hard downshifting to really try and slow the car down. Instead it was accompanied by almost silence. And yeah, down to 33% ERS. I've not even used much of it, so clearly I need to reduce the ERS usage for this mod to work longer term. But this is only a five lap race, so I'm not too worried about that for now. Oh, on the front power a little bit too early. We're going to go wide there, but who cares? Not me. Engine's cooled down a bit now, so we've bought ourselves a little bit of rich. Sebastian Vettel up next. Valtteri Bottas done a 132.5, 132.4 for Lewis Hamilton. Can we beat that now? We need some ERS on the exit just to see if we can get it. And look at that there. Opti against using ERS. Probably smart. I think I'm going to lose it. Well, it's the purple last sector, but not a fastest up of the race. Can we dive? Can we dive? No. Oh, my God. I thought I was going to hit him. We're okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Again, I'm going to avoid using ERS for now. It's just going to... We're going to have no ERS soon enough. I'm not going to dive up, up the inside of Esteban Ocon. I think the best we can hope for in this race is now P10. It's a solitary point. The McLaren not enjoying the single gear setup. With that said, Lando Norris is ahead of us. Oh, hello, hello Esteban. I'm not going to dive in for now. Oh, a little bit deep there. Okay. Come on. Get the DRS and get past him next straight. That's the plan. Also down. This is one of the hardest corners. I always tend to lock into there. Come on. Not going to be able to get him. I'm not going to use enough ERS to get to him. That will require basically all of my charge. Which would be stupid. Come on. How's our, how's our engine temps doing? Probably overheating a little bit. Not too bad at the moment. But I'm going to just try and cool them a little bit. Ready for the next straight. Where we will need to get past Esteban Ocon. For our solitary point a little bit deep. Try and get the exit. Which I managed to do. Bit of ERS to try and get onto him. Used a bit too much. I regret it. I regret it. I think we're going to be okay. Valtteri Bottas, another fast lap. 32-4. Lewis Hamilton once again beating with a 32-1. We've done a couple of green sectors. Can we beat it with a bit of ERS? I'm going to use all of it just to see if we can get the purple lap. We can. Did we? 32? No, we didn't. A long way off. Eight tenths off still. Purple last sector once again, but eight tenths off. And now we've got no ERS. So this could be an interesting final lap. I suspect we'll get re-overtaken. By Esteban Ocon, a little bit of oversteer there. Get away with that. And there's quite a close bunch up ahead, look. The racing points in third place. Mercedes are a bit OP at this. I don't know whether perhaps I've done their mod differently or something. Um, but <laughs> they definitely are a bit OP for some reason. Look how far ahead they are. That said, it is a racing point behind them, not a Red Bull. So maybe that's why. I'm trying to carry the speed through there. Only a tenth and a half off this lap. See if we can catch these cars ahead. Oh, that's a bit deep. Again, it's just judged purely on visuals rather than on the engine sound. It's quite weird. Up to rich fuel. Probably got enough engine temp spare to be able to run rich till the end now. Get it stopped. 
Getting arc at the end, you're just idling. Of course, if this was real life, um, not the official F1 game, I would be, have, have, be having to use the clutch all the time. Every time the car idles, um, I would then have to kick, kick in the clutch and, uh, and re-engage it myself. Of course, the real F1 cars don't re-engage their own clutch. Once anti stall is kicked in, that's it. anti stall is kicked in and you then have to, or the driver then has to put in the clutch and manually deploy it. We're very slightly up on our best. Oh, we're just going to take that line. Who cares? Not me. That's for sure. As my dog it appears to be knocking the camera, which is not that optimal mid-YouTube video. I won't lie to you, Pepper. <laughs> as long as you can handle a little bit of wobbling, we're all good. So come to the line to take P10 only. Definitely harder to make it through the pack there. I wonder if perhaps that's because of the, the exits. It's just so much harder. Please stop knocking the camera. Um, I wonder if that's just because it's harder to accelerate. Um... You know, normally you can use the gears, you can get a really nice exit and stay really close to someone and then just dive them. Whereas that, it's all about maintaining speed through the corners. So, you know, it's not about getting the exit. It's not even barely about getting along the straight. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. That was certainly an interesting one. Um, F1 cars should stick to eight gears. Interestingly, actually, in the game files, there is a ninth gear option. So I wonder if I put a ninth gear in, if it would work. I don't know. Maybe that's one for a future video. But hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you do. And I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.